this video, we're going to go ahead and make a quick change to our topology and use the component editor to line up some vertices. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's make our character base a live surface, and then we'll select our character's topology and go into the modeling toolkit and select quad draw. So let's go ahead and get started on this. We need to make a quick change to this lower area near the butt. We'll notice here if you kind of move your or rather rotate your camera around the character. We're missing a lot of this geometry going around the outside. And we also kind of want to have a circular, downward circular motion going with our topology coming into this upward circular motion near the front of the thigh. So let's go ahead and get started doing that. We'll go ahead and just drag these on down. So I'm just going to grab some of these points and drag them below so I can capture some of this geometry or rather this shaping coming from our base geometry, our live surface. So I'm just going to try to create sort of a circle here and try to negotiate between the two. So this looks kind of an interesting curve, or rather an S. And I'm going to bring this down to try to capture as much of this lower area as possible so I can get this into our geometry. So I can probably reshape this a bit. And this looks pretty good. Now really the main thing we want to do here is try to capture some of this exterior geometry that we were missing from our character base. We weren't capturing this. So I just made a few adjustments real quickly to try to capture that. You can adjust some of your other topology to sort of match that change. We have this curve in our legs. You could maybe hold control plus shift, delete it, and then add another one to try to get that shaping in there. The same going down the leg. I could also do that here delete it, and then recapture it. So this looks pretty good. Now we've captured some of that exterior geometry going through our shape. Now what we want to do is go ahead and line up some of these edges so we can get ready for our next step. So now we need to go ahead and leave quad draw mode and go ahead and turn off our live surface. And we're going to go up to our channel layer editor and hide our body base because we're not going to need to see that for that next part. Now you can see that we have this object here that we've just created. It's a very low poly based object. We need to make some quick adjustments before we'll be able to mirror this. And those are primarily in this section going along the side of the character. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to vertex and I'm going to double click on these edges here. So I want to select all the edges going around the side, but I don't want to line these ones going around the neck. So I'm going to unselect these three on the side of the neck here. Now when I have all of those selected, I'll go up to Window, General Editors, and then I'll open up the Component Editor. And you'll notice we'll get this window here. This window is very nice, very helpful. What we're going to do with this is we're going to use it to line all of our points going through the middle of our character to zero on the X plane. So we can see Vertex X right here. All I have to do is just select one of them, then with my left mouse button selected, I'll just drag the mouse down until I get to the bottom. Then I'll type in zero and press enter, and you'll notice that will line all of them up. Another thing we're going to want to do is line up these wrists. So I'm going to select one on the farthest point out, and I can see vertex X. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. Then I'm going to select all of the edges, and I'm just going to hit control plus V and press enter, and that's going to line all those up for me. Then I can come down here to the bottom. On the bottom, we want to line these up on the Y, so we'll select one at the bottom. We will copy the value in the Y. So I hit Control plus C. Then I'm going to hold down Shift and select all of them. And in the Y, I'll just hit Control plus V and press Enter. And there we have it. That has lined up our points here. So this way, whenever we do mirror this object over to the opposite side, it will match up going down the middle and it will create a complete copy. Now, before you move on to the next video, I want you to make any additional changes you're going to make to your topology with the way the lines are going through it, your actual edges. You want to take a look at your edge flow, make what changes you have to, then recheck that everything is still lined up just as we did in this video by selecting them, opening up the window, general editors, component editor, and make sure you copy those values. So everything is set up just how we did it here. So these are all lined up together around the ankle is all lined up together and all these in the center are set to the X. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at how we can use smooth preview to get some final touches done to our mesh with its shaping prior to applying a smooth operation on our model. If you have any questions or comments, please post below the video on brainpoof.com and click subscribe to follow us on YouTube.